we were on our way to run to the hunt. Um, we got up at a ridiculous time this morning and we didn't film when we were at home because it was too dark. So we've just got to a service station and if Nathan wants to pan around and see uh, a little convoy of uh, vans and cameras that we are going to be travelling with this morning. Yeah, I'll try and zoom in. We're currently in King's Lynn. No, we're not in King's Lynn. We're not in King's Lynn. Well done, Bill. <laughs> Where are we? Uh, outside Peterborough. Okay. With speech, isn't it? And it's run by Cambridge Transports Club. It is. And it's their third annual run. Fourth. It's their fourth, fourth annual run. run. Yes. This is their fourth annual run. Convoy. We've got a the sat in front of us, golf behind us, massive, massive cap in front. I thought I'd be able to keep up with all the old camper vans, and uh, I was wrong. Uh, within the dawn's beetle, we'll be flying now, but we're a uh, little 1.2 30 brake horsepower Molly. She's struggling. Luckily, you can't see the back of the cap and how far ahead they are. Alright, we're uh, off to King's Lynn. Uh, which is the main meeting point, um, get there for 9 o'clock ish, and then they all uh, head from King's Lynn to uh, Hunt Stanton and uh, chill out on the beach for a bit. Convoy update guys, um, it's raining a bit heavier now, we're no longer struggling, one of the camera rounds got stuck behind a horse box and that's closed everybody up, so it's great now, we're in the convoy properly, Molly can cope at these 30, 40 mile an hour speeds, um, I just really hope the camera van doesn't overtake the horse box, because we'll be doomed, you know, otherwise, so uh, yeah, uh, we'll soon be at uh, the Kings Lynn starting point. We hope. We hope. So we're currently in a queue getting into Sainsbury's which is the meeting point in Kings Lynn. 
Um, you can't really see, but we're stuck at the traffic lights. And then behind us, if you can see out of there, do you know what? I'll put it out the window. There's a lot more vans than we thought there'd be. There are so many cars behind us. And we're blocking the road. So no, I won't. I'll just record it. Yeah, there you go. You were meant to be a picture, but I uh, clearly can't cameras. work my camera. Give <laughs> the kids are more We're just about to leave Saints Cat Park. Uh, we'll give you a quick little tour. Well, busy it is. Oh. Some camper vans there. So you don't really get the uh, full scale of how, uh, how many cars are in this car park, but it was shut. Uh, it's Sunday morning and we filled the whole car park up in Saints, so uh, I'm pretty impressed. All right. Catch you in a bit, catch you at Kings uh, and Sun. Please.
return to the hun. It's very cold and windy and wet, but we're in a lovely car park. Surrounded by beautiful There are a few beetles as well around, which is good. So we're now just going to get some uh, pictures and some footage for you. Okay, so this is us wrapping up the uh, Volkswagen show. There's a van behind me. Nice white van. Everybody's not leaving. Everyone's leaving. Storm's facing us. Still a few vans here. But I can't wait. We've had a great time. It's been awesome. We've done bowling and oh, I've lived the dream really. So, uh, see you next time, guys. So, guys and dolls, this is what happens when you try and drive. 1200 beetle up a hill very very fast um, no with no oil <laughs> in your car because you have an oil leak that you decide to not fix and then not to check your oil before you go on a long journey isn't that right Mr Nathan? I'd like to say that I did top my oil up a couple of weeks ago you should definitely check your oil on a regular basis um, especially if you do a lot of miles and use your car daily and you have an oil leak and also with a 1200 engine if it has no oil it's not a good thing but well, a little tiny bit on the PSD. Um, you should not floor it in third gear on the hill. Uh, you should go heat your engine and, uh, and lose your compression when you miss the rings and shatters into pieces. Uh, but um, lots of more videos of engine rebuilds going up uh, in the next couple of months. So uh, stay tuned and subscribe to our channel to learn how to rebuild a Volkswagen Beetle engine. That's right, guys, you heard it here first. Engine rebuild videos. Bye. Oh, baby, we'll be on. Oh, baby, we'll be 
old and cling to all the stories that we could have told. One day, baby, we'll be old. Oh, baby, we'll be old and cling to all the stories that we could have told.